Online gaming has changed the world of trolling forever, and it's no different with Fortnite Battle Royale. With 100 players playing at once, you have to deal with noobs and streamer trolls. Luckily, some gamers can spot a troll and found ways to put them in their place. Before we begin, subscribe to The Gamer and don't forget to ring that bell to become a part of our notification squad where you'll be the first to know of new content. Without further ado, here are some of the worst Fortnite trolls who got what they deserved. Trolling a funeral. Epic Games loves communicating with their gamers, showing interest in streamers and building up a world of Fortnite fandom. One of their best examples of this came when a Fortnite rescue mission went horribly wrong. While Fortnite player Muselk was exploring Paradise Palms, he killed an opponent and took a golf cart to the edge of a cliff. There, he discovered another player was stranded with no way to build back up the hill. The attempted rescue went horribly wrong as the golf cart smashed into Chappadoodle and killed the player instantly. Once the clip started getting spread around, Epic Games took notice and decided to do something fun in honor of Muselk's rescue mission. On the same coastal area, Epic Games inserted a digital tombstone to honor Chappadoodle. Players decided to flock to the area for some in-game memorials and this is where the crazy trolling began. A player by the name of the Derpy Troller decided to take a swing at the tombstone and poof! Just like that, the memorial was gone. The non-violent truce was instantly broken as the derpy troller was bludgeoned to death. But the troll's elimination was just the beginning. An all-out war began on the coast with players attacking each other and turning the funeral into a bloody mess. We imagine the tombstone will be gone by the next update. Stream Sniped Watching a live stream of other Fortnite players comes with a number of advantages. Not only do you learn tips and tricks, but you may be fortunate enough to get on the same server as the streamer and see exactly what location they're playing at. Of course, streamers do have the option of using a stream mode to disguise usernames or cheats on wife. The name references Dr. Disrespect's 2017 admission of having an affair on his wife. He publicly came out with the news, took a couple of months off, and then returned to the streaming world. Unfortunately for the trolls, their attempt at an insult only results in more views for Dr. Disrespect and more earned money in the long run. Death Stare for a Troll one of the easiest ways to troll in Fortnite is by trying to take out your partners. Using grenades and uncovering your partner's hiding position are two methods used for trolling, but using building hacks is another way to troll. Because large falls can create instant deaths, players like to build up high, let their partners follow, and then trap them by destroying the platform or editing it so the whole thing disappears. The building troll scenario is exactly what a player known as Jancy3 attempted on his partner during a game of duos. As the pair stood high on a platform, Jancy3 decided to troll his friend and remove the platform. Well, the whole thing backfired on Jancy3 as they were the first fall and quickly got knocked down. Just seconds later, their partner fell, but he was still standing. Instead of running off to continue the round, the player delivered the ultimate death stare to the partner who betrayed them. The stare lasts long enough to create plenty of humor and was a much better option than just yelling through a headset. Winning on Impulse During the end of a typical round in Fortnite, players love to build and build as the storm draws in closer. The timing of shots and the faster builds typically help players secure victories, but this was not always the case in the Sniper Shootout. In the Sniper Shootout, players could only kill using snipers, hunting rifles, and grenades. This made for some very interesting final one-on-one -on -one battles. Redditor Badmaster Chief decided to take the whole sniper out of the equation while going head to head. With a storm circle pretty much the size of a house, this led Badmaster Chief to start throwing out some impulse grenades and allowed the storm to do all the work. With each throw of the impulse grenade, his enemy would get launched backwards into the storm, taking away some of their health. By the time they would enter the eye of the storm, another grenade was thrown and they would get tossed right out again. A long fall for a troll. The classic version of a troll is supposed to live underneath a bridge. For so many trolls in Fortnite, they end up climbing over bridges and then falling to their deathly homes below. This is the case for a troll who decided to take out their own team in a 50 versus 50 battle. 
Redditor Stealth Ninja X noticed someone decided to take out his own team's bridge. Thankfully, other players were there to save the structure. Now, whether the player had a change of heart or were looking to kill others is a whole other story, but they simply wouldn't get the chance to sabotage their team again. As the troll made their way up the same ramp they tried to destroy just moments earlier, Stealth Ninja decided hmm, not to give the troll a second chance. He edited the stairs to get rid of the floor on one side and sent the troll falling to their death where they were later eliminated from the game. Sometimes forgiveness is just not allowed for these trolls, maybe in the next round. Pretending to be Ninja there are a lot of popular Fortnite players on both YouTube and Twitch who love to stream their game to the masses. For every Ninja or Preston plays, there are countless players attempting to act like they're the actual players. YouTuber Entrolsive ran into one of these players during a round of duos in Fortnite. The dirty mouthed child was clearly not a day over 10 years old, but they claimed to be the YouTube and Twitch sensation known as Ninja. Clearly, they barely had the skills to be Ninja and Entrolsive took care of this situation with a little trolling of his own. The two went back and forth on the mic with an insult battle that wasn't more pleasant than a first grade playground tussle. Then, Introlsive decided to deal the ultimate damage by using a grenade and knocking the player down. Taking the troll back to a whole other level, Introlsive pretended to revive the player multiple times, only canceling at the last second. Several curse words later, and he truly claimed to be the real ninja, vowing his revenge. A revenge no one would ever see because he was just that terrible at the game. Admitting to trolling. If Friendly Fire was still in Fortnite, we'd be seeing a whole lot more trolls in the game, but thankfully, Epic Games removed the option. There's still the ability to launch your friends off a mountain or use explosives to take out the floor from under them. Enter the impulse grenade. Upon explosion, the grenade sends a person flying in often right into the enemy's lap. The grenade is an ideal way to throw an opponent off or clear out an area. For others, it helps create some epic trolling moments. Redditor GMFreak1991 decided to use his impulse grenades to help mess with the troll while playing a round of duos. The player he was teamed up with was claiming to be a rookie, but after a quick search, GMFreak1991 discovered he had won over 20 rounds of duos. Still, his partner wouldn't admit to this, and GM Freak 1991 decided to let the impulse grenade do the talking. GM Freak 1991 tossed grenades at his partner and sent him right into enemy fire. He pleaded with him to stop, but only if he admitted to his win streak. He finally did, and it turned out to be a happy ending. Both players won the round, and in a little bit of irony, it was another grenade which helped notch the victory. Boxing in a troll. We've already touched on this earlier, but some people just can't get enough of trolling their own partners by destroying large ramps and watching players fall to their death. One player who did get really creative was Redditor Hyphen. He decided to take on a 50 versus 50 troll with a brilliant plan. After witnessing the player, Hyphen teamed up with a friend and decided to put the player in their own version of a Fortnite jail. The jail was formed by building a one-for-one -one of wooden walls. Sure, it's easy to axe through the walls and escape, but not when Hyphen is standing guard and rebuilding any chance he gets. At one point, the player tries to obliterate them all with C4, but the explosion does very little damage. The whole thing was great to watch and is a fun idea to try against any trolls you may encounter in the future. Trolling Thanos. There are some pretty powerful weapons in the world of Fortnite Battle Royale, but one of the most powerful may have been when the Infinity Gauntlet was temporarily available. The powerful glove allowed players to transform into Thanos and he was someone no one wanted to come across. Not only do you not want to go head to head against Thanos, but you really don't want to try and troll the Mad Titan. Unfortunately, Oskiss123 did this in a very humorous way. The laughs were certainly worth it, even though he died just seconds after the trolling. Knowing it would be extremely hard to take out Thanos, Oskiss123 turned to their inventory to pull out a boogie bomb. 
For those unfamiliar, the bomb makes anyone within its radius start dancing for a while without any control. In the ultimate trolling moment, Thanos can be seen dancing and not even the Infinity Gauntlet could stop him from moving and grooving. Obviously, Thanos got his revenge after dancing and he did so with a quick blast that absolutely destroyed Oskiss123. Well, there you have it. What type of Fortnite trolls have you encountered? How have you gotten revenge on a troll? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to the gamers so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos. Thanks for watching.